What's up? This is your boy Ox, and today we're gonna be reviewing Dead Island Rip Tide. The ship's dead in the water. The whole island's gone to hell. We don't have much time here. They have to cover up what they've done. This island, it's about to be nuked. Now, I am gonna start with this with a little backtracker, if you wanna call it. I played that island one and I fell in love. Like you could ask my hubby, she, she, she almost shot me in the head cause of it. You were on an island, everything is dead around you and you needed to survive. You could have found a freaking baseball bat, put some nails on top and <laughs> your way to victory. You could have found the katana, you put some batteries you put some barbed wire i don't know what and you had the freaking sword from metal gear rising the game was beautiful and we heard that that island riptide was coming soon one year and a half later tut, 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 tut. we're here when it comes to story we expected armageddon and all of hell's angels to fall down and something new to come and grip us from where we fell the last time Remember, it kind of feels like the end of a Resident Evil game. You're flap, 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 in a helicopter. But now you land, zombies outbreak on the island, and we try to escape it, and you're basically back on another island. There's nothing that grips you to the characters that you're dealing with. Basically, you're on a no-brain mission that goes from one point to another to another to another just so you can get more weapons, more XP, and escape the island again. You try to deal with new people and you try to help people, but it's emotionless. Nothing grabs you, nothing pulls you towards it. You're just enjoying the spree from that island one. And that's a sad thing to have. It was really expected that they throw more at us as far as characters, but they just included one new person. And the backstory I expected to have like a video for it, so it puts you in the mood since you already know the old ones. But, nah, -uh. we enter the battle scene. There is a horde of zombies. And it is sweet. Nothing changed about the gameplay and that's where it actually made me feel like home. The gameplay is still beautiful. Hacking and slashing is still, it's still, how can I put this? It's an actor, it's sweet, it's right on point. We are talking about decapitating that people, but it's a zombie game. You have upgrades for weapons, that's one. You have upgrades for the character that you have, that's where the gameplay actually looks awesome. RAGE! The second you rage, let's say you're facing 10, 20, or even 30 zombies. The second the screen goes red and you hit that sweet circle button on your joystick, you just go BOOM! Basically they get your heart pumping where it needs to be and that's where that island shines. The second you hit that select button and you see the map, it looks good, it's not bad. But the problem that I'm facing is the freaking mini-map! The mini-map actually get, gets on your nerves in ways that you hold your dagger and you want to stab the screen once, twice, three, ten times because I'm walking on the freaking road and then I take a little detour to pick something up and poof, well, where am I? The mini-map shows you nothing but the point that I need to go to the upper right. Where is that? Well, bad, bad, bad that island. We tried to play the game and we didn't have internet connection at that moment and we could not enter our game. What does that say, that island? What does that say? Is the age of the Xbox always connected happening now? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And my eye is bleeding now. Thank you. I don't know what I want to call you anymore because I'm feeling... <sighs> okay. We're back in the game and I expected a year and a half later 
the actual island, the graphics, the puffins, the clunkiness, the everything to look better. But I loaded the game and oh my lord, I thought it looked like a piece of rock that turned out to be a wall, a building and a tree behind it. The graphics are still... <clears throat> I'm not gonna curse, I'm not gonna curse, I'm better than that. The graphics are bad and they had a year and a half and they didn't, they didn't do squat about it. They didn't fix the texture poppings. The character animations are clunky as hell. Frame rate. Look, you stand from afar and you look at the beautiful island, it does look beautiful. But the second you get up and close, you grill the thing, it looks like crap. And after a year and a half later, we're waiting and this is what you give us. Sound. It was devastating. The zombies, I crack them, I smash them on the head, and they... Nothing new happens. <laughs> I think they just imported the freaking audio from the first one, and they put it for the second one, and they tried, us, tried to sell us a used game. That's how I feel like. The sounds are clunky, and every single time somebody's passing outside my room, guess what they think? I'm either watching... Mm -hmm. or I'm killing somebody in the room and the problem with that is if it sounded good I wouldn't nag but the freaking sound from I think they had like two types of male zombie sounds and two types of female zombie sounds and they all sound retarded I do have to say that it sounds retarded now weaponry there's a different variation between the boom and the ta 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 but it doesn't really feel innovative, especially in the day where I can play Far Cry 3 and every single weapon sounds different from the other. While this one has a boom bap, boom bap, it kind of feels like an Egyptian movie, you know, when you're and it's still the same thing all over again. This is what it feels like. Now, interacting with main characters, you feel they actually paved and they paid due to this. The main characters, you talk to them, you feel what they say. But anything that's a side quest, bad. After a journey that we passed through with that island, we have awesome gameplay. And I do mean like awesome gameplay. We have Mm, not bad mechanics, good improvements. They hit gold with the gameplay, but they went retarded with the graphics. I'm guessing the Unreal Engine costs too much, but it's worth it. Well, awesome gameplay, awesome mechanics, flunky graphics, flunky sound, retarded story, and a game that needed a, maybe to wait another year to come out. So overall, I would give it a 5.5 out of 10. This is, has been your boy Ox and we're giving you a gamer's salute. Peace.